I found this wooden carrot at Michael's. With my R16 Klingon brush and Mandarina from Wise Owl, I painted the lower part of the carrot and this did take two coats. Once that was done, I did a mixture of a few colors to create this green because I did not have a correct green and I painted the top part of the carrot. I found these Waverly stencils at Walmart that came in th three in the pack and I chose this particular pattern for my carrot. Using cashmere from Wise Owl and a foam roller, you wanna load, unload, and make sure your roller is very dry and we put the paint all over the stencil. While the paint was wet, we added gold glitter. While you're adding the glitter, you kind of want to dab it into the paint. Once you lift up the stencil, you just want to make sure you have something to drop the excess glitter into. So happy how that came out. Now I have some acrylic spray, spray, sorry, it's a sealer, and you wanna get that on the glitter so it stays in place. I now have a orange burlap that I'm cutting down into um, a strip. I'm gonna use it as a ribbon, and I'm gonna show you guys uh, a what I call a straight ribbon. And what it is, or a straight bow, um, you take a lot of different ribbons, of course, you're going to choose colors that are matching your project. I am putting an angle cut at the end of each piece. I want to say my pieces are about five inches long. And you kind of want to start with fat to skinny. And you can use material. Again, I always like ribbon that has uh, the wire edge in it. I just always feel that at the end, it doesn't flop on you. But um, once you get all your pieces, you wanna kind of put them in a crisscross, different direction so that they all stand out. You can use jute, or I'm using a thin ribbon at the end and tying it all together. What's great about these bows is you save a lot on ribbon and they are fun with a lot of character because of all the different um, aspects of it. So here's my straight bow. The ribbon I tied it with, I left very long. And now I'm just cutting some excess to make it look even. And these long tails are what I'm going to use to tie to the top of my carrot. So I grabbed this Happy Easter at Dollar General and I'm painting the entire sign with cashmere. I did do two coats. I found this board from Lowe's. I believe it was about six dollars six seven dollars and i'm staining it with general finishes antique walnut and once that was dry i sanded my happy easter and took some prima from redesign gilding wax and with my finger i just added the wax to all the letters of happy easter i left the bunny in the cashmere and tied a bow around his neck I'm taking some Elmer's Wood Glue Max and my Glue Bot. Guys, it's a must have in your shop. It's a great storage and it is a no mess uh, glue container. And I'm putting it all over my Happy Easter. And at the end, I am putting some hot glue just to help me keep it in place while the glue dries. And I do clamp off with these little clamps for drying time. Now I'm gluing my carrot at the bottom of Happy Easter. 
And again, I'm going to clamp that off and let that dry. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. And also any paint, brushes, uh, products, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you.